And so it's got it on legal matters. A former Deputy Attorney General, Dr. Dominic Ayeni, has told 3FM that no provision of the Legal Profession Act has been breached or cited in the letter issued to him from the General Legal Council following a complaint filed against him by the Judicial Secretary on behalf of the Supreme Court. The decision to hold that Dr. Dominic Ayeni before the Disciplinary Committee of General Legal Council is because of comments he made questioning the independence of the judiciary in relation to the outcome of the 2020 election petition. Lawyer and former Minister of State al Nusuf Fusseini expressed shock at the turn of events. He told host of 3FM First Take Jifa Bampo in the following interaction that an engagement with Dr. Dominic Ayene would have been better an approach than this. Take a listen. Well, surprise would be an understatement. I'm actually shocked. My shock stems from the fact that uh, Pamela, Cynthia Pamela, even in her letter, uh, provides the basis, the grounds upon which the assertions were made. And they clearly are founded on the opinion of uh, Dr. Ayini on how the adjudication of the petition went. And that, in his view, informed his, his, uh, his opinion that the independence of the judiciary appeared to have been compromised. And, and it's an expression of opinion. Just like the judgment of the Supreme Court is an expression of the opinion of the judges of the court. Since there had been a previous issue with the Supreme Court where they cited uh, Dr. Yine for contempt, knowing that he had made similar comments, should he have made those comments at the CDD program or could he have couched it better? It is precisely because of the, the large expanse, the latitude given to judges to bring contempt proceedings against persons who, who, in their view, have scandalized the courts. That is why, as we speak, in the UK, where we inherited our common law, common law contempt has been reduced into statute. And I think that in the development of our democracy, uh, judges and the courts must open themselves to constructive criticism. What Dr. Ayini said was, was and is still a perception held by many people in this country. That perception, I must hasten to add, doesn't make that opinion right. But it is a duty on the judges to ensure that justice is not only seen to be done, but must be manifestly be done. And in doing so, their conduct must, must not only be transparent and open, they must also be accountable uh, to the people of the country. Could we be worried about a sense of fairness? Dr. Ine will be required to file his response. How can we be sure that it will be fair to him? The General Legal Council will tell us that it will do its duty without fear or favor. But we should be worried because of the, the status of the Chief Justice in the scheme of things within the General Legal Council. The Supreme Court and the Judicial Secretary should have carried slowly, probably invite Ayini to uh, clearly, clearly state uh, the basis of his opinion. And probably if the opinion is wrong, uh, to try to point to him uh, what, in their view, uh, made the, that opinion wrong. Do you fear that it will make lawyers hesitant in commentary on issues in general? If the deputy, former deputy attorney general is appearing before an investigative panel uh, to answer to charges on uh, contempt against the ethics court, then which lawyer will not be hesitant in making comments?